All right, ladies and gentlemen, after we got, excuse me, we have three rounds of action come out of the 157 pound weight class modified rules. Fighting out of the red corner tonight, he's wearing the black trunks with the gray trim weighing in at 155. Representing Capital MMA with a record of two and one from Washington, D.C., Minor Flaco Ramirez. And biting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the red trunks with the gold trim. He's weighing in at 156 and representing Square Unity MMA with a record of two and eight from the Bronx, New York, Mark the Wild Harmonics, Hanna. Okay, fighters, you've both been given your rules. Give me a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times, defend yourself at all times. If I tell you to break, break clean. Do you understand? Do you understand? Touch gloves, come out fighting. So glad you could be with us on our 2019 season premiere for the longest running Muay Thai series in North America. That's Friday Night Fights. My name is Ari Alagami. Jason Stroud to my left. We are ringside at the Broad Street Ballroom in New York, and we are set for action here. Our first fight of the evening at 157 pounds. Mark the Wild Harmonics Hanna in the red trunks, touching gloves with Maynard Ramirez, known as Flacco. And we're underway in round number one. Coming to you live on Facebook at a 10.30 p.m. We switch over to UFC Fight Pass for our main card and a ton of outstanding Muay Thai and kickboxing action all night long from NYC. Mark Hanna definitely came to fight tonight, that's for sure. He's not here to dance, he's here to get down. This Hanna's second appearance on Friday Night Fights. We saw him back in November fall by unanimous decision to Willard Klein, so he's looking to flip the script this evening against Mina Ramirez, who comes up to us from D.C. Yeah, Ramirez is, seems to be controlling the wildness of, of Hanna, tying him up in the clinch, very nice. Nice turn there by Mina Ramirez. Trying to drill Mark Hanna with knees to the midsection. I almost wouldn't want to let go of Mark Hanna. I wouldn't know what's coming. Now the fighters break apart. Mark Hanna coming in with a record of two and five. Mina Ramirez at two and one. It's a 157 pound battle here. Kevin Mulhall, our third man in the ring for this bout. Outside leg kick lands for Mina Ramirez. Now he tries to go up high, but Hannah anticipating it well. A little bit off balance now as Ramirez. Hannah trying to take advantage. Reaches out with those long legs. He's definitely taking advantage of those long legs, isn't he? Using that push kick from the outside. Hannah comes forward with a punch combination, ends it with a teep. Final seconds of round number one. Nice little fake to the low kick there by Ramirez. He kind of looked up like he was going to throw a high kick and then chopped Hannah's leg. Now, if you notice a little bit of an unorthodox style from Mark Hanna in that first round, he has kind of an unorthodox training situation, Jason. is He comes to us from Square Unity MMA in the Bronx. And in that school, there are no designated trainers. It's almost like a fight co-op. So he has Erica Arano in his corner, who trains with him up in the Bronx, but he does not have an official trainer. And he kind of has a very kind of unique style in the ring there. A lot of kind of kind of movement you don't normally see from, from more traditional fighters. And it's hard to fight guys like that, because you don't know what's coming. No. You can see, see the replay right here where you just coming forward and swinging. You don't want to get caught by something, and it's hard to time that. Very As long. the fight goes on and Hannah slows down, I think Ramirez will capitalize on some of that wildness. A lot of loopiness in, 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 attack, in the attack from Yeah, Mark if you Hannah. can kind of time those punches on the inside, they can be devastating. But you don't want to be on the end of it, because then you can get caught. Both of these men looking for their what would be their third wins at the Class B level. Minor Ramirez, 31 years of age. Mark Hanna is 35. And you see Hannah kind of floating those gloves around as he comes forward there. A big teep with the left leg for Hannah and doing a dance step as well. He's definitely having a good time out there. Mark Hannah is a musician. 
as he catches the leg of Ramirez then comes forward with a straight right hand. Hannah shouldn't stay at that range. He should probably get a little bit closer. I know it's easier to say that from all the way down here. But I think if he closes the distance on Hannah, I think he'd be more effective. If he just stays right outside, tries to think of what to do, he's going to get caught with that long jab and that long front kick. And as you say that, Jason Ramirez. See right here, I wouldn't wait so long on the outside for Hannah because Hannah's kind of getting his confidence, throwing those straight long shots. He did close the gap momentarily and it seemed to have an effect, but then he backed away. Yeah, I'd close the gap, but I wouldn't stick my chin in the air as I was doing it. Left hook did land a moment ago for Ramirez, and he gets in a body kick. Harm the wild harmonics, Mark Hanna keeps him away. I think what happens is you have somebody in front of you with this awkward movement. You, you, you kind of get like almost hypnotized. You don't know what to do. You're too busy looking to see what comes next, and then you forget to throw. Right there, he's Ramirez was going strong in the first round, and now he's it's like you can't figure him out. Teep to the midsection for Mark Hanna. Top punch combination. I don't for like Mark the way Hanna. Ramirez is keeping his chin in the air when he's punching. Chin's too high, right? A little bit too high. That's how you get clipped. Nice turn there by Maya Ramirez. He goes by the nickname Sweet Flacco. He was effective in, the, effective in the clinch early. He should go back to that. Ramirez should get a hold of Hannah and just keep working him with the knees like he was doing in the first round. Good moment for Ramirez there. Let me correct myself. Pretty Flacco. Not Sweet Flacco, although that was a sweet turn right there on the Wild Harmonics. And there's the bell in round number two. Touch of the gloves between these two competitors. And you wonder, without the traditional coaching style in Mark Hanna's corner, what kind of advice he's getting from Erica Hirano, what kind of adjustments he's being... I would just tell him to just keep being him, you know what I mean? Make, I just yeah. keep doing what you're doing, just be you. You know, sometimes having that weird, awkward style is very effective. And and almost when you try to fix that and correct it, it can kind of ruin what you makes them them. You see the musical notes tattooed on Mark Hanna's back, and he's, he's basically dancing in the ring. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, make sure you tell your friends. He's got to let a fighter like that just, just be him. Mark Hanna straight right there. Ramirez finally able to get inside, but didn't, didn't, didn't really keep it going, didn't keep coming forward, although later in the round he did have a nice turn and send Hanna to the mat. I find that's the hardest thing to being a coach is when you get someone like this with, you know, they have natural abilities. They know how to fight. They know how to react to certain things. And guys that are success, successful with that, you don't want to take that away. You know, you don't want to train that out of them. You want to kind of keep that and refine that. Pretty Flacco, Minor Ramirez, couple of right hands getting in there in the early part of round two. Mark Hanna looked like he wants to do a belly-to-belly -belly suplex in there. He's got some leverage on that. Lower back crank. Got the underhooks in. I thought he was going to throw him over the top. You have a suplex. Now Ramirez loading up. I told you, that chin in the air. Ramirez jumped in with that cross and the hook, and his chin was a sticking out. As Ramirez was loading up with that left hand, he's, his, his face went straight up. Absolutely right, Jason Strout. You're watching Friday Night Fights, the 2019 season premiere, live on Facebook. At 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we switch over to UFC Fight Pass for the main part of our card. You'll see Yasmin Salhani in a title fight against Janet Garcia. You'll also see Travis Clay and Eric Luna lock up in a five-round full rules Muay Thai affair in our main event at the professional level. That's going to be a barn burner to be sure. Just two of our five fights scheduled starting at 10.30 on UFC Fight Pass, but here we see Mark Hanna and Minor Ramirez coming down the stretch, and Ramirez able to turn Hanna down to the mat once again. Yeah, I'd like to see Ramirez do a little bit more of that clinching on the inside. Final 30 seconds here between Mark Hanna and Minor Ramirez. Hanna in the red trunks, fighting out of Square Unity MMA. Minor Ramirez in the black and silver out of Capital MMA. Steven Rosillo is trainer in the DC area. Pretty Flacco trying to figure out the unorthodox style of Mark the Wild Harmonics, Hannah. And we go the distance here on Friday Night Fights. Both fighters gassed after six minutes of action. Good performance by both of these men. Now, as a judge, Jason, we know as a coach and former fighter, you never like to leave it up to the judges. Kind of a complicated fight to score because 
You see the unorth you see the nice turn by, it, it really by Minor Ramirez there. He had a couple of nice kind of technique moments in that fight, but Hannah, he was just throwing those arms and legs all over the place throughout the bout. Hard to know what kind of effect that has on the judges. I guess it depends what the judges are looking for. If they appreciate the clinch, they'll probably score more for that. Ramirez definitely won that battle. But there wasn't a lot of clean or effective blows. I think that's what judges like to see. You know, the emphasis often on clean, effective punching and kicking, of course, in Muay Thai, Thai boxing. But there was a lot of arms and legs flying every which way in this one. We'll see who the judges thought got the better of it. Here's Connor Hall. We do have a winner. It is by unanimous decision, but before I get to that, no flash photography, please. No videoing of any kind. No flash photography, okay? Thank you very much, everybody. Now, let's get on with it. After three rounds of action, we do have a winner by unanimous decision. All judges see this fight 27 to 30 in favor of Minor Flacco Ramirez. So Minor Ramirez goes by the name Pretty Flacco, picks up a not-so-pretty victory, I would say, Jason, in his first appearance on Friday.